So how is everyone doing in the YouTube world today? Hopefully you're all doing well and let's get into the Pokemon Mail episode. So because you did like the video last time, I thought let's do another one. So we have a bundle of Pokemon cards here which is again £65 worth of Pokemon cards in a bundle. So as we kick things off, we get a full art Sandaconda from Rebel Clash. Now. I never pulled this card and like I told you in the previous video, I am a sucker for full art cards. I want to get all these graded, I want to have a master set in my binders and then I want to get a set graded and have all the sword and shield full arts graded. Like It will just look so good but this card is in immaculate condition, it's actually in a see through penny sleeve. The card looks great, the centering is great. And the card in general is just a beautiful looking card. So that was card number one in the 65 pound bundle. The next card up is going to be a full art Dragapult V. Now, please bear in mind, these are all still in their sleeves. So they may not look as shiny as they should be, or they may look a little bit shiny. And you may see reflections like this of the spotlights that are sitting in front of me. So I do apologize, but this is a Dragapult V, a beautiful looking card. One of the cards I really wanted to pull from the set, even though I'm not the biggest Dragapult fan, I really wanted to pull this because of how good the artwork is. But guess what? I didn't pull it. So I end up having to go buy it in a bundle and you know, Usually I don't like to buy cards because I like to try and complete the set, but with there being so many full arts, it's just so hard not to be able to buy them unless I'm just going to open tons and tons of packs and booster boxes, which I did do and I still didn't get it. So, you know, save myself some money and get the card I want. <laughs> card number three out of this pack is then a Rillaboom full art also from Rebel Clash. As you can tell, this is finishing a lot of my full art section on Rebel Clash, which I'm very happy about. This artwork is actually incredible. I saw a lot, and I, when I say a lot, I mean a lot of people pull this card. And again, it was one of them cards that I never pulled. I seem to pull a lot of good cards in Rebel Clash, but never the full arts to finish the full art section. But we're working on it, we're working on it. And once I get the full section done and the, all the binders done, I will show you in a video. So that will be really, really cool. But again, Rillaboom V, quality looking card. And that's card number three in the 65 pound bundle. Card number four though, is a little bit hot, a little bit spicy. It is a Cinderace V Full Art. You know, I, I, I have to disagree with anyone that says these full arts and the design of sword and shield full arts aren't the best card designs that have been around for i don't know maybe since base set i think base set is the king and then i think this artwork here for the full arts is just different levels like i love hidden fates full arts uh gx and the artwork there but this is just incredible we have a cinderace here you know good good quality card Next up, we actually move away from Rebel Clash and that, and this was just in the collection, so it was something I did want, and it's something I will get graded. It is a Shiny Vault Greninja GX from Hidden Fate. Now, obviously, you know, the chase card in Hidden Fate's Shiny Vault is the Charizard, but Greninja is right up there with the Espeon, um, the Reshiram, uh, the Mewtwo, and this card is just immaculate. My friend who actually had it looked after it really well. The centering is really good and it is in immaculate condition. And this card to be in this collection, you know, the bundle worth £65 is really, really good. As you can tell, the card is immaculate. This will be getting sent off to PSA and it will be getting graded. So this will be in a video upcoming, a grading video. So I don't know how many cards that was. Let me just recap quickly. That was one, two, three, four, five. So we're five cards in for the 65 pound set. Next up, we have something that is very, very special to me. One of the cards you know I always love, and that is a full art Sonya. Now again, love this card in Rebel Clash and never managed to pull this one or the Rainbow Rare, which was kind of tilting because I seem to pull everyone else, but not this one. And Sonya is a big character in the Sword and Shield game and I just never managed to get this card. But again, it is beautiful. Like I, I honestly, if someone doesn't like the full arts, in, I, I, I just disagree all the time. Like I think these cards are 
different class, different, they really are different class to me. I mean, you know, in the comments section, let's have a little chat. Let me know what you think are the best, you know, designed cards, maybe you think it's Sky Ridge, maybe you think it's Team Rocket, maybe you think it's Gym Challenge or something like that. But these cards have to be up there, surely. Do you like the full art? So you're a full art trainer collector like me, or you know, is there a certain style of card you collect? But this Sonya card, immaculate. So the second to last card we have from this set is a full art rainbow rare team yell grunt. And this card is absolutely beautiful. This is from the Sword and Shield base set, as you can tell from the little Sword and Shield emblem there. Um, the card just looks immaculate. It's a, again, a full art trainer card. Now I'm not super into the rainbow versions of these full art trainer cards, although I love them. They're not my favorites. I prefer the normal just trainer cards. Um, so this in the non-rainbow form is actually better for me, but obviously you need all of them to complete the sets. You know, just like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Just like the Pokemon card game, gotta collect them all. So Team Yell Grunt was in this set. And you know, I can't complain, needed it. So let's get it in the binder. And our last card out of this 65 pound bundle is none other them rainbow rare full art Sonya. Nice, huh? So I didn't pull either Sonyas, and now I found the bundle that had both of them in it. So we now have the rainbow, we have the full art, well, we have they're both full arts, but we have the rainbow and we just have the standard one. And this card again is beautiful. I myself still prefer this Sonya over this Sonya. You guys might think differently, but I just prefer this card. It reminds me more of the character. This is more rainbow character. <laughs> um, but yeah, I you know love the cards to bits and I can't wait to put them in my binder and make the binder more complete. So there you have it, my second ever Pokemon post day and another 65 pound bundle. And we got some incredible cards. Do you think this was worth 65 pound? Obviously I'd done the other video and that was a 65 pound bundle and they had quite different weights of cards in there. But again, I think I've definitely got my money's worth here. And for me, it helps me complete the set. So in the comment section down below, let me know what you think. But as as it goes that is the end of the video here so if you can smash the thumbs up if you have enjoyed it it really does help me out helps me out in the youtube world so that's really cool but if you're new around here or even if you're not new and you haven't subscribed yet please smack that subscribe button as well as well as turn that notification bell on because that will let you know when my next video goes live and you will not want to miss the next video we have another bundle coming and it's got something very very special in it so with all that over and done with there's only one thing left to do and that's say the outro stay cool stay collecting pokemon cards and we'll see you later peace